Hello everybody, Grandpa Dan here. Well, I uh, had uh, remembered that I had forgotten <laughs> to uh, uh, do a video on uh, this green 29 engine after I had finished uh, doing a couple other things and uh, putting the muffler back on so that uh, you could hear it run without a muffler. Uh, those of you with uh, with uh, good vision and keen and astute ability to notice things, you'll see my special carburetor tool there. <laughs> For those of you that have worked on carbu uh, the Model A carburetors before, you'll know that there's a big bolt right in the bottom that goes straight up through that holds the two pieces together, the cast iron top piece and the cast iron bottom piece. Well, the threads in this top piece are stripped. So I couldn't get a good tight fit on that after I took it apart and cleaned it. So I decided to put a little C-clamp on there to hold them together here for purposes of starting up and running the engine. Anyway, I got uh, water in it and I got oil in it. And I think, uh, I think we're ready to go. Let's try it. Well, there you go. The uh, I don't know if you could hear it, but I could hear it. There's a bit of a knock coming from inside there a little bit. It's not real loud, but it's enough to where I could hear it. Not sure what it is. I'll have to see if I can figure out what that is. But other than that, it started up, and it's running not too bad when you consider how bad the seat was for the number one exhaust valve. Uh, it, uh, it may be leaking a little, but I think I got it sealed enough to where it'll start up and run. So there you go. That uh, one more bunch of rusty, no good, worthless pieces of cast iron junk got cleaned up and put together and now it runs again. <laughs> well, Thanks for watching.